Hey guys, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the final cave on the island. I've gone through all nine artifact caves. Now we're just missing the tenth one, which is the artifact of the strong. The last one alphabetically, because I did them alphabetically. Um, it is, in my opinion, the hardest because the animals in there are ridiculously high level. They're also bears and wolves and stuff. They're not just the normal like bats and scorpions. Uh, and also there's not really any cheat way, like you can't use an ichthyosaur to speed through the difficult water caves like you can do there. And you can't exactly use a mount and just run through. Like, it doesn't really work that way. So you pretty much just have to fight your way through. So I have two different methods that I used through this cave. One is a bit cheaper but require more skill and is a little bit more risky. But it is cheaper. Um, and then I use the method I'm going to show today, which is the... Not not really kind of yeah a little bit expensive, but it is the safe and also fairly easy. Like it is safe and it is pretty easy. So I'm gonna show this one today uh, because using a mount in this cave just requires you to either have a big pack of aloes that are super powerful and bred twice or three times or whatever mutated etc. Or use like a yeah pretty high level stat dinosaurs. So it is. Uh, my, it's almost easier and faster to just craft weapons like we're going to do today and go through the cave. Plus, it is the artifact of the strong, which is what, what you use to kill the dragon with, so you won't really go through this cave until you are in the end game anyway, so, like, you should be able to afford making shotguns and stuff at this point. But if we start with the location, this is where we are at the map, 30.6 by 32.8. Uh, uh, you can see it is sort of the corner where this sort of river turns up here. Um, uh, you can see the turn of the river right here. So we have the volcano there. And if we line ourselves up pretty much in between the volcano and the blue obelisk mountain. And you are close to this river. You can see that there is some kind of ice kind of falling down the mountain there. And there is a cave. It's under that. So it's kind of this icy area. It's pretty easy. It has crystal at the entrance right there. So during night, it kind of glows a little bit. I've just brightened up the game so you can see better. So, uh, yeah, let's head into the cave. So you can, you have this little entrance that you can park your dinos in. Like, I'm going to park my RG here. Although, leave them on uh, neutral or, yeah, because you might get attacked in here. But I'm just going to move them a little bit further in. Because the cave doesn't really start yet. The cave has started now, but... It pretty much starts after we've crouched down through a little gap. So we're just going to leave him there. Um, he's on passive, so I'm just going to put him to neutral. Uh, so, I'm going to go in here. So, I'm going to show you this little area before we go through what we need. Um, but you just go through. There's only one way down. A little water. Don't fall in the water. It's so cold that it'll actually kill you no matter what you do. And then you eventually end up like... It's just another way down. You can see. It's just one way. Then you get to this little gap, which kind of denies you to bring dinos into the cave. You can use cryopods, but again, we're going to use weapons because it's almost cheaper to make weapons than breed and mutate a bunch of aloes and such to bring in. Because the dinos are so powerful that at least when you have 150 as max level, I believe these can spawn up like level 400 or something. So yeah, they deal like a lot of health and they have 10k plus health and stuff like that. So this is what we're bringing into the cave. Uh, we're bringing a set of fur armor. You need fur because if I take this off, you can see I'm freezing to death. Even with an otter on my shoulder, it is too cold. So you do need to use fur. Uh, I would recommend using as good fur armor as you have because it is so cold that a normal set won't really do. Like, you need something better than that. Plus armor. You want armor because you might get bit a few times. Uh, optionally, if you don't have the best armor like I do, you can use kind of a combo between good riot and good uh, fur. But yeah, we're going to use a complete set of fur armor. Uh, we're also going to grab all this. So basically, we're going to use weapons. Main weapon we're going to use is a shotgun. Again, the higher damage, the quicker you kill, the faster you go through the cave, and the less ammo you need. I'm bringing 250 shells. I have a 400 uh, damage one. Uh, thanks, Ark. Uh, advance no what is it called upgrade station mod for that um, I'm also bringing a crossbow and a bunch of grappling hooks you need the grappling hooks because that's basically what we're gonna use like grapple up in the ceiling and we'll stay away from danger because there is no flyers in it 
Uh, we're also going to gr uh, grab a fabricated sniper rifle. Uh, you can use a normal low, like, long neck rifle too, because the main thing we're going to use this for is to kill stuff if it runs away or to aggro stuff that are far away but in our sort of close enough that they might be a threat to us. You'll see what I mean real soon. So, so that's what we're going to bring in. Again, you can use a long neck if you're not quite at this stage but still want to try, but... But yeah, I would recommend bringing as good stuff as possible, Ascendant with as much damage, etc. So that you have a, you know, basi basically just clear out the cave faster. So, um, the cave entrance, I, I showed you the coordinates, right? Uh, well, I think, I think it worked anyway. <laughs> I actually forgot if I showed the coordinates of the entrance, but you still know kind of where it was. Um, also, finally, important, this is actually quite important for this to work properly, bring grenades. Yeah, you do need grenades. Uh, um, you probably don't need as many as this. Uh, I think about 10 will do. But basically, because using a shotgun or a sniper or any shooting weapon other than maybe smart rockets uh, will deal damage to the Perlovius that are dug into the ground. Uh, they jump out and st stun you and you will be disconnected from your grapple and you'll just stand there for like 10 seconds getting killed. Uh, so you need grenades to basically damage and get the Prolovias out of the ground before they jump at you. So if they're in your path, then you need to use them. So that's why we're bringing in a bunch of them. You'll see what I mean real soon if that didn't really make sense. We're going to crouch through. Uh, I'm not sure how many animals I will meet because this cave stuff on single player is just so glitchy. Okay, so when you crouch through... Um... The reason I cut, if you wonder, is because my cave doesn't have any creatures, as you can see. I thought maybe it was completely cleared out, because the cave system on single player is very glitchy. But there are animals further into the cave, so normally... Okay, I'll just demonstrate. So normally, when you come in here, you will be met with a bunch of animals. Uh, you might even be met with them, like, right here, so you'll have to crouch and ju or just stay under here and kill them. But as soon as you get here, should be bears and stuff. Grapple up in the ceiling and just hover here and you can kill them safely. Uh, and basically we're going to pretend to be Spider-Man so we can, on at least my settings, it is a uh, shift that kind of make me drop from the, from the grapple. But you can kind of play Spider-Man so basically like when it's taller you can, uh, or when the ceiling is tall enough you can kind of drag yourself in and uh, you the full you should be able to grapple to the next location before you hit the ground so I can just demonstrate now by doing that uh, this is kind of requiring a little bit of skill but like dropping so basically when you come in and you see the water just follow the water to the left like I'm doing right now and you should see some very bright stuff here and what looks to be like a waterfall almost I obviously I don't really need to spend grappling hooks just doing that because there is nothing here but just follow this river don't hit the water I can just demonstrate if you hit the water you take damage um, so when you get here you see there's a little waterfall there should be the animals down here but again my cave is glitched uh, but I still have to grapple down though I'm gonna just grapple down so when you get down here um, and once again go to the left right go to the left keep left see an alien structure ahead uh, this room also usually have a lot of animals uh, actually I met a few here but I wasn't sure if it was enough that I was gonna make this video or if I was gonna wait but it was enough so you can see I killed some stuff there you can see there is a gorilla or yeti as they're actually called up there so again we're gonna keep left so grapple on this side um, kill anything in your path and drop down here so now comes like one of the more dangerous scenarios so basically there are some smaller tunnels where there isn't really that tall or high or of a under the ceiling so <clears throat> and so it's a bit more tricky to grapple up so in this case you just got to be aware it's a dead corpse right there it's just head inside uh, you usually don't meet anything in the corridor but they can meet you immediately after Oh, yeah, so you want to watch out for that. Uh, that's the exact reason why you, uh, what you want to watch out for, and why you want grenades. 
I don't know why one of them didn't jump at me. But, you want to harvest that? Okay, but I'm going to show you why you want grenades. Okay, that one decided to now jump out. But I guess those missed me. But you can see they jump out. And I don't really want to demonstrate it because that might cause me my life. But, basically, if they do... I Okay, he's running back to the entrance. I kind of want to just kill him real quick. But they jump at you and they stun you, okay? I don't really want to demonstrate because that might cost me my life. So watch out for those. And you can see there is literally wolves right there. So grapple up in the ceiling. Now I can demonstrate. Oh, there is another Prolovia there as well. So here I can just demonstrate, like, you're grappled up. Now you can just safely kill them. And with a high level shotgun, it deals a lot of damage too. And if they start running away, that's why you have the sniper, because, like, that one who's running and blocking my path, obviously needs to get him killed. He's a bit crazy, running a bit all over the place, it's actually easier to hit him, but without using the scope. Uh, so they ran back, so we have to watch out for those later. Uh, the monkey works the same way, headshots actually deal a lot of damage on these fellas. Actually, I'll just kill him with the sniper. Uh, um, the water is actually what I use for that alternate method, but I'll obviously do that one later. But anyways, this is why you need grenades, because that one will jump at you and stun you. I'm tempted to show or demonstrate what happens when they do that, but I think you all know that already. But throw a grenade, try to make it land close to them, and that blows and that will get them out of their little hiding spot. Which is why, which means that you can now kill them, because... I can show that next time we find one, but shooting at the mound doesn't work. So the only way we can get them out is to use grenades uh, or explosives. Can you smart rocket? That's more expensive. So it doesn't look like there's any more creatures in our way. Again, small corridor leads into a big room that usually has a lot of creatures in it. You can see them down there. So just grapple up in the ceiling, wheel yourself in. The bears are actually the ones with the longest aggro range. Uh, you kind of want to lower yourself down out of their bite range, but close enough so that the shotgun deals enough damage. Just kill them like that. Uh, you don't actually need to kill those, uh, because uh, the good thing about grappling hooks, we can just grapple this way. We can just grapple around them. Uh, that one actually saw me. So I guess we'll have to kill them after all, but... Let's lower ourselves down so that we are out of their range, but close enough so that the shotgun deals their best damage, right? So reloading it is a bit annoying because it takes time and they'll start running away when they can't attack you, as they do right there. Uh, I'm going to kill it with a sniper. If I can hit, I think it's going to be, again, easier to just do without the scope. Wheel ourselves in a little bit so that we won't hit the ground because we kind of want to stay away from the ground as much as possible. So when you get to this big open room, I haven't really talked too much about direction because there's kind of just one way. I just, I have, right? I said left. So this time you want to do the same. Go left. It's basically left all the way. And we messed up the grapple, which almost killed us. Make sure you don't aim too far like I just did. So grapple to the left. You can see there's a little path going here. It uh, doesn't really matter, just don't worry about those dire wolves, because we'll lose them very soon. Uh, plus, they'll probably get scared of us uh, very shortly after as well. But grapple up to this little plateau. This is a pretty big room, but just keep left, basically. That's the rule. There you see that dealt some damage. So you can either kill them, or you can just make your way to that plateau. So if we do that, just hover here, you can see that they just fall down. Uh, so we can just continue grappling up. It might be a loot drop here as well. Grapple to this area. Uh, I think they usually lose aggro too when they fall down there. But I guess the bears don't. Gonna have to kill those bears. Uh, at least uh, that or... Okay, we're gonna just uh, grapple. We don't really want them meeting us, greeting us when we get out of that. So again, we're going left. It's all left when we do this cave. It is not right. Usually you hold keep to the right, but in this cave it's left. So 
So just kill the bears. Simple as that. We had like 250 ammo, now we're down at 200. We've spent about 20 shotgun shells. Do you want to harvest them, Otter? I guess not. Nope. Okay. Well, then don't do that. So you saw, I mean, theoretically you're supposed to break the crystal, but I'm just going to grapple above, uh, up above them. Okay, I have to be a little careful because my health is a bit low because I fell. You can see more. Oh, wrong gun. So here you want to grapple your way up. Careful. When it is a turn like that, you never know if it's a Prolovia right next to that. So you want to be a little careful. Optionally, you can throw a grenade there and see what happens. But I'm going to kill these. Because that's the safe way. And because we are hovering here, we might as well aggro that one. And you can see they have quite a lot of health and they're all 20, like 200 and something. So now we're going to do the same, like throw a grenade because before that blows, shooting at it doesn't do anything. You have to blow them out. Hate that it reloads. Come on. There we go. Uh, hopefully there isn't anything around that corner. But yeah, you can see it was almost. So we're going to... Yeah, there is only one way to go here. So I don't really need to direct you, I think. But I'm just going to show that again like... <sighs> Seriously? There we go. It does kind of show that you hit something. It's come to, You can see there's kind of blood spurting out. But it doesn't do anything. And the same with the shotgun. It doesn't do anything so we have to explode them out because again they jump at you and I don't know why I threw two grenades when I only hit that one time but anyways get them out and uh, and get uh, get down so we can run a little bit save on the grappling hooks there we got another uh, bear you can actually see that there this area is a bit difficult actually because the ceiling over there is so low. But you can see there's a loot drop, so we can take that. The same way we always do it, just grapple. It's all about the grappling hook in this cave. So we're going to once again grapple. Uh, this era usually have a lot more animals, but I guess not this time. Oh, shit. It's a monkey right there. Can we actually... Oh, there we go. I'm dead. I actually think I'm dead. Or maybe not, actually. Okay, okay. Okay, oh yeah. Well, I demonstrated the stun. That's why I need to be careful. Uh, was that... I hope that demonstration was good. So that's also why having a lot of health in this cave, and maybe some helpers would also be good, but I don't have that. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to be a little careful now, because I'm actually very close to dying. Uh, okay, we have to lower ourselves down a little bit so that we can get it in range of the shotgun. But yeah, you can see why you need to be careful because you never know where it's going to be a mound. And as you can see, you get jumped. It actually looks like it might be one. Oh, never mind. That was a fish. What is happening? Oh, they're just swimming the opposite way. Uh, okay, let's be a little bit careful now because I don't really want to die. But we have to go this way, so don't go that way. Okay, I'll, I'll just show you. So as you can see, it is very low under the ceiling there. So if we just grapple up, they'll still be able to attack us. At least the bear will. So we have to go on this side and grapple on the water side there. Because then we can stay out of biting range. I'm just going to grapple across and get this loot drop. Crappy crossbow. Again, just grapple this way. Ah. Uh, and you can catch the aggro while also staying above the water, so they'll just fall down here. Uh, so you can safely kill them, or you can actually just leave them, because they probably won't be able to make it up anyway, so... I'm gonna kill them for safety's sake. Uh, but you can just leave them hanging. I thought more of them aggroed. Oh, they have aggroed. 
just uh, too far away. So we're gonna. This is the ca for example. This is a good example of why you want to bring a rifle because you want to kind of get them over here instead of uh, meeting them over there. So this is a safe spot. For some reason, they're all freaking stuck because of those damn wolves. As you can see, it's not a megatherium or mega a gigantopithecus. It's actually a. Uh, it's actually called uh, Yeti. So only bad thing now is that they're running up the eggs. That's actually our way where we're we gonna go. And they're running up there, but that's fine. We'll figure do that. You can see there's also four mounds, so we have to throw some grenades. That was an awful throw. I actually don't, uh, might not be able to, okay we, okay, we threw far enough for those two at least. I decided to just show you all of this so that you know where to go and such. He's just stuck there for some reason. Oh, for God's sake. They're running up the, the way we're going. Oh, can we shoot him? No. No. Uh, because the other ones are a bit too far away from me, just don't get too close because then they'll jump at you and you don't want to fall in the water because you die, right? But there we go. That's at least one of them out. So this one is in the water, so we can kill him. The salmon goes completely nuts. What are you doing? Are you just running in circles over there? Trying to figure out where to run? Come on, come back. It doesn't seem like we're healing. We're not healing. I think that might be because it is so uh, cold. So that's, uh, I guess, one thing why you might want to bring some health brews with you. I didn't know that you didn't heal in the cave. That was close enough to bring it out. Although he's running, though. Oh, he fell down. Okay, so we're gonna grapple on the surface here. I'm gonna be a little careful because you can see they're just waiting for us right there. So we're going to snipe him. Just going to reload. What are you doing? Don't risk it like that if you have as little health. Holy crap. How did he get up? There's a bear down here, isn't it? I'm a little bit scared to check. Okay, it doesn't look like it. So, in this case, here we get to like the artifact room, which is, you can see the artifact. The monkey. So here we gotta be a little careful. There is mounds and stuff. Uh, for some reason... Uh, okay, we can grapple up here, so we're sort of safe. But you obviously wanna get those, uh, you can see the artifacts, so you want to get the Perlovia. For God's sake, I'm so bad at throwing grenades. Blew through the crystal, but that's fine. Did I hear, I think there should be dire wolves over here, shouldn't it? So be a little careful. Uh, I would always recommend having your grappling hook ready. Oh. That one just missed us. I was like, is that at the back of a creature or is that a mound? But we managed to survive. But again, just be careful. You can actually, yeah, they fell down the water. So it looks like it is clear, but I'm still not quite willing to take the chance considering I'm so low on HP. So there's one of those that we almost killed earlier. I, as you can see, I have the aim of a stormtrooper, but for God's sake, stop moving so much. Isn't it? It was. It is one right there. So this area, you can just lead them. You don't need to kill them, by the way. I'm just doing it to kind of be more safe. 
Right now, I usually would leave them alive, but I have so little health that I'm afraid that I'll get backstabbed and just killed. So, you can walk. I'm gonna just... Just for safety's sake. You can actually hear... I heard a... Oh, that might be the anglerfish, actually. I'm gonna just kill that monkey, too. Uh, at least on single player, the caves are so awfully glitchy that sometimes it might be a bear stuck inside the freaking monkey there, or inside the wall up where the artifact is. So you can get backstabbed. So I'm gonna be a little careful, because that has happened to me. But here's the artifact! Um... 29.9 by 26.4 is the exact coordinates. Artifact of the strong. And yeah, you would really do need to prove how strong you are to get through this cave. So uh, at this point, you can take a breather, you know. Dismount from your grappling hooks. Eat. You can't do that while you're grappled. Relax a little bit. Okay, we st oh, now we're suddenly healing. Oh, maybe it was glitched. I don't know. But, uh... Oh, there is another monkey. Uh, we can kill that. I'm gonna kill that, just for fun. Actually, I'm gonna skip that, because I don't want this video to be too long. Obviously, you don't really need to grapple as much, but I still recommend having the grapple hook ready in case you meet something on your way. So, uh, we're still gonna use grapples to get out, though. But, obviously, in areas like this, where there's really any shortcuts or anything, we can just run because we have cleared out the area. So like, yeah, so just head back, alien structures. Now we basically just gotta go right every time because we went left last time. Now we're in this big room where we fought those bears. Grapple across these and there's the bears. So now you can take the same shortcut. So that's the platform that we're at. And you can actually, it looks like a drop has spawned in actually. Is it? Yeah, a red drop has spawned in, look at that. Ooh. That's gonna be useful, actually. Um, and then just grapple across here. Be a little careful, because I'm not sure if... Yeah, there's still a Yeti over there, so... You can walk if you that way if you have cleared out all of this, but I'm just gonna grapple up here, because that's where we are. Remember this place? And just walk through this area. Shouldn't be a problem. Bunch of crystal. If you're a real madman. Yeah, there we go. You, sometimes you farm, sometimes you don't. Okay. What is... Sure, why not? Um, so, uh, so if you are a real madman and you go down here, you can farm crystal. But, to be honest, there's really no reason to go down here and farm this crystal. Oh, here's another drop. Uh, right next to this dead man. Here we are. I'll let you eat. So, there is sometimes, I just want to mention that, a drop over next to those guys. So if there is, you can go over there. Uh, however, when we are here, you can take a shortcut. You can see over there. It's sometimes a drop there too, by the way. But you can take the shortcut. That's a bit too far. But uh, grapple across. Uh, you can either grapple up there or just walk this little bit. I'm just going to walk. Just walk up here. Um, now we're basically at the start again. So that's where we came. That's actually another place to find a drop. So that's the waterfall that we went down when we first started. So instead of going around, just grapple up. You can save yourself a lot of fighting, potentially. Just grapple up here, get that drop. And now we are just at that river that I followed. So at this point, it should be cleared out. So I can just walk on the path, but this is the river we followed and grappling hooked along at the start. This is the way you would go on foot, but it's much better. You can skip a lot of fighting if you just grapple that way. And then we go across here again. Oh, that was not a slope. There's another dead person. Uh, so this is where we came from. 
and there's the little gap. So now we're out. Uh, we survived. We died, but that was mostly because I'm an idiot and I failed the grappling hooks. Now we can just walk out. And unless our RG is dead, there he is. G'day, Golden. How are you doing? Uh, and I don't think I showed that, so just really quickly. This is the exact coordinates of the cave, 29.3 by 32. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. We've done all the artifact caves now, so this is obviously the end of this sort of series, you could say. Um, if you did find this one helpful, then remember to like the video, and if you haven't subscribed already, then of course do that. And if you want me to do the more uh, YOLO dangerous version, then uh, then you can uh, then comment that. It's a bit more dangerous, requires a little bit of skill, but you can save all that ammunition that we used. So, uh, so yeah, if you want me to do that one or show that one, then do that. Comment that in down below. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.